Welcome to the second part of our tutorial on Applied Motion Products Ethernet IP Devices with Schneider PLC. In this tutorial, I will program from scratch inside the Machine Expert software. So open the Machine Expert software. Click on File, New Project and create a new project. Select the controller that you are using. And assign a name for a new project. So now we will install the EDS file and the library. So click on tools then device and then select the user as a location and click on install and select the EDS file that you have downloaded. Now EDS file is successfully installed. Now we will install the libraries that we have received with the application package. So click on library, select install and select both the libraries from the application packet. Now add the library inside the project. So we have AMP library installed and as you can see here are all the function blocks. Next thing we will add our uh, device inside the network. Now right click on Ethernet 2 adapter and select add a device and vendor select applied motion products. Then you will see that we have TXM34 IP so add a device. Now double click on the device and write the IP address that your device has. After that uncheck the electronic key checking. And you need to assign the Ethernet port number to IP address. So if I click on my controller property, I can see that my controller has a 10, 10, 10, 19 IP address. So that's the IP address for Ethernet 2. After that, double click on to the AMP device and click on Ethernet IO mapping. So here are the input and output assemblies. So they are defined in words. So we need to create a variable tag that will map the IO. So go to the application tree and the main program and then let's define a tag here. So read words. These are the input from the drive to the controller. So it's an array of 0 to 17 word. And then the write words. That's the output from controller to the drive. 
now map those variable inside the drive so we need to map each array inside the uh, io mapping channel for read and write as well as you can see i have mapped all the variables inside the input and output mapping now these are in the words but if you open our library manager and function blocks we are using dins so the eds file that we have from the amp website the parameter inside the eds file also are in dint but in io mapping we are getting the word so we have a amp io mapping function block that will convert words to dint and those dints we will use in our program so let's define a dint array. So array of 0 to 13 of dint. So dint is a 4 byte and word is 2 byte. So read and write of dint. Now let's create a IO mapping. So first thing user need to create is uh, define a input output mapping uh, function block. So insert a network and then insert a box then select the AMP IO mapping function block. Assign a name to the function block and map the variable that we have just defined. So the read words that's what we are reading from the drive and write words that we will write to the drive and read and write these are the dints that we have converted from the drive to use in our other function blocks now add another function block now let's add amp input assembly so that will give us a status alarm code drive temperature current and other parameters so we just need a read variable to read from the drive. So now let's build the project. So click on build and generate code. When there is no errors in the message, that means we are ready to download. So click online and then log in. Press Alter F. Click yes and login with download. And start the PLC now. Once we start the PLC, you will see that our uh, Ethernet adapter is also in a green. So as you can see, we are reading the values from the drive in our input assembly function block. Here are the all the values from the drive to the controller inside input assembly. So this is how user can create a program. That's the end of tutorial number two.